Hello, I'm Massimo Mattina. I'm 19 years old and I'm an Italian student in the third year of Halt International Business School in London. Regarding the first question, what's your favorite sport? I would say it's pretty straightforward. It's sailing. I have, uh, I've always been sailing since I was seven. Uh, my family is a sailing family. My, na my mom, my dad, and even my granddad. So my dad was my f coach in Optimist. Uh, I still remember my boat was 6481. I'll never forget that. And I've always loved team racing um, and professional sailing, match racing, all of them. I reached pretty high level after two years. Um, I became Sicilian champion and I got selected for the Italian national team. I also uh, got selected for the European Championship in Slovenia and the World Championship in Malaysia. In 2010 I moved to 420 where I, um, I chose one of the best crews in my town and we started training really hard trying to compete in a new category and um, we got selected twice for the European Championship and once for the World Championship in Spain. Regarding what is the bravest thing I've ever done in my life? Well, I mean, I've never saved the world really, but uh, I would say that um, one of the experiences that has um, affected me the most has been in 2012. Uh, back then I was 16, my life was pretty straightforward. Um, I was going to class every day and then I would just train in the afternoon, go back home and study. And then one day my parents came home and they told me, you know, there are great opportunities in Oman, in the Middle East, we're moving there. I didn't even know what Oman was, really. So it kind of felt like jumping in a black hole. I didn't know the language, I didn't know anybody there. I didn't, um, I didn't have any friends, it was just a different culture, I didn't feel comfortable. But after the first month, I really realized that it wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't really a black hole. It was rather an opportunity to learn something new. So that's when I realized that um, I was really having the chance to meet new people, learn about a new culture, learn a new language. And that's something that, even though it was scary at the beginning, I'm really proud of. I'm, I'm really proud that I had this amazing opportunity. Regarding the uh, proudest achievement, I would say that it kind of connects to the first two questions, really. I had to leave sailing. I mean, there were no sailing structure for, for 20s in Oman and no for expats. So I talked to my crew back in Italy. I told them, well, I can't train with, with you and I can't train here, but I'll try to train mentally. They kind of laughed at me, but um, we did it anyway. I went back to Italy in March for the first time. We did our first national selection. Uh, it went pretty bad, 45th out of 110. So it was, was pretty bad and it felt a bit frustrating. But then race after race, when I came back in April, May and the last race in June, we, were, we improved race by race. Uh, we managed to finish third in the national ranking overall, uh, which was our best sailing result. And we got selected for the national pre-Olympic uh, sailing team. Uh, so it, it felt very good. Um, for two reasons, for the achievements, health, and for the way we, uh, we did it. So, thank you very much, and I hope to see you in Switzerland.